Come get some. Hi guys, this is Foxglove from Team Burn, and today we've got our first episode of the How to Open series. Uh, we've done our call out series, and if you want to go and check that out, there will be a uh, link in the description to that playlist. Um, this is the first map we're going to do, which is on drone, um, and we're also going to be always doing these on the uh, domination game mode because it's the main mode that Team Burn play. Uh, first of all, thank you very much to El Clarko for the new intro. Um, I know he's put a lot of time and effort into it, so I thought I'd put you on these videos uh, and give him a shout out. If you want to check out his channel, and please do, it is in the description of this video. So, as you can see on the screen, this is uh, an overview um, captured in the podcast mode of the map drone. We are starting on the A uh, spawn, on the A flag or A spawn, whichever one you call it. Now, um, I would recommend that you actually capture A and B on this map. Um, the reason for that is it's probably the best two um, for getting to and also getting eyes on so if someone's going to be captured to actually get there as fast as you can and also to uh, to protect it um, if you need to now from the uh, seaside <laughs> which is where the opposition hopefully will have their home flag uh, they have three main routes one down the middle one at the top there one at the bottom and as you can see they kind of branch off a little bit but that's generally where they want to go now what you want to actually do is cut them off so it only looks like this now where uh, what you're basically doing is making sure they don't get out of their third of the map and uh, you do this by some power positions. Now these are the power positions that we would recommend. Um, one, two, and three. Now on here, um, I'll go through them all. So number one, um, that basically cuts off all of that back entrance of the map on the top part of the map as you look at it there from silos coming down that back alleyway. So it's if you're going towards the escort drone and the uh, and the bench bit in there, I would strongly recommend that you uh, that you put someone there at all times. Now. It is a big push point because it, it is a long line of sight and you lot get a lot of snipers and stuff. But yeah, I would recommend getting someone in there with uh, with a target finder and a, a nice assault rifle and making sure no one comes down there. Now, um, number two is uh, upper height. I would recommend you go upper height because you, you can get sniped from the back end of C. So I would recommend that you uh, that you take the height and position there. Make sure no one comes on. And also number two has eyes on A flag as well. So just in case people do sneak past you can quite easily get on there, get eyes on air um, and get some grenades over and stuff like that. And three, you can either have it on the base level, so you can hop onto the B flag if you need to, uh, or you can have it up in the windows. And that is also going to cut off all, all traffic coming through the factory, which is the bottom red line there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go into the gameplay. Now this is um, this is mine, which is, will be on the bottom right hand side and there'll be made in 83 which is on the top right hand side and I've also put the map on there just to show how we, we open the and then we'll kick into the gameplay okay so there we go it's kicking off there we're now and um, as you see we're starting at the, the at the air flag out. domination and if you follow maiden at first of all which is in the uh, in the blue screen at the top as you can see he goes straight at his location which is point A he's got a target finder on there he's making sure no traffic come, come past that way now me, I go straight onto the B flag and try and cap it. Now where uh, I do a bit of a mistake here and I don't blow up that van first. Now this is one of the first gameplays we actually had on Black Ops and it's just it's just one of those things we kind of forgot to do so I would strongly recommend that you blow up the cars first of all. Now you can also see there that Maiden lets you force just slightly to get onto the B flag. There's a very very quick way to get onto the B flag there so just in case you, they are needed so position 2 and position 3 both go down position 1 can fall back so it, it is actually really good. It is a little bit boring uh, if I'm honest but you are going to possibly uh, rack up some kills streaks. You're going to stay alive quite a long time there and uh, it is a very important position to have okay now as you can see there i did die unfortunately so i know that they're coming through from the the agr room which is at the top there but i also know that i'm spawning straight away so get a shock charge up there get my uh get my friend there to take a couple of bullet damage for us as i uh, as i clear them out as you can see we're pretty much well set up there so if you look on the mini map there we do have position one and position three pretty much uh taken care of there we don't have anyone on the top of escort but that's no no big deal so now just going straight over to my gameplay um and it'll be my gameplay throughout this uh opening so as i say it's just how to open once you've opened and you've got your home flag and the big flag there's really nothing more you just have to keep them right uh, here keeping them positions that we've got there so thank you very much for watching this one now i want to go into some general stuff now so um as you may have noticed uh, long-term subscribers that we haven't put a lot of content out and um, the reason for that is a lot of team burn and digging the new black ops 2 now it's not trendy to hate on black ops or i should say it is trendy to hate on black ops but we're not just doing it for the sake of it it isn't 
the game we were kind of thought it was going to be. We all kind of got together in the uh, in the Black Ops kind of age. That's when we started playing together properly as a team, and, and we did really good in Black Ops. Modern Warfare 3 came along, and we didn't do as well, if I'm honest with you. But we did play as a team. We, you know what I mean? We were a beast, and we had a really good yeah. Uh, not necessarily kill death, but we had a really good uh, win loss ratio, and and the team really really worked together. So we said, look, really excited about Black Ops 2, the whole league play feature, and. We were all always going for the objective rather than going for the kills. We really liked the new way that the, the point streak system worked and the pick 10 system and you know, we loved it. On paper it was going to be the best COD for us. Unfortunately, it just hasn't proved to be and I'm, I'm really not digging it. I mean, don't get us wrong, I've still put in quite a few hours and I do enjoy playing the game. But I, I enjoy playing the game with my friends and, and with my teammates and if there's nobody on with us, I'd rather go and play something else. So that's the reason that we're not putting a lot of gameplay up and a lot of beast and scores and I've seen people out there, I mean I was watching videos today, people getting double swarms without killing people working around as a team now. We're probably going to be putting some more stuff out like that. Um, I am quite proud of the call out series that we did where we did the call outs for each and every map. The only one I'm maybe not proud of is Turbine because it's 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 just crap map and I hate it. And I didn't put the effort into that game and I guess that's, that's maybe reflective of uh, it's just the fact that I hate playing that map. So there you go. So there you go. I finally go down. I was beasting on that walkway there over B and I was just, I was just kicking ass as they were coming. Using the FEL here with the full um with the uh, sort of the full auto rapid fire whatever it is attachment on the select fire attachment on it. Uh, as I say, this is one of the first games we actually played on, uh, on Black Ops 2 when it first came out, and it wasn't the uh, the whole newbie-ish kind of thing about it. I really enjoyed playing the uh, playing with this gun, and I, I, I do like it to this day. I just I just can't play it without the full auto. If I'm perfectly honest with you, so I need to. Uh, I don't like prestige in the weapon because I lose that, but I think I've gone twice round with it now, so I've gotten it back. I think I'm I think I'm one level off getting it back, so I'm not overly that concerned. Now, as you can see, there, Maiden was uh, was running around with his sentry gun, so he, he did manage to stay on point here. Um, he got his sentry gun eventually, and he's actually put us right on the B flag, kind of substituting for the the number two point on the power positions there. So we we won this one quite easily, guys. I mean, I'm not going to be I'm not going to argue about it. It's, uh, we weren't the best team, and as I say, we were just showing this because we want to show you exactly how to open on this map. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will have more of these how to open matches. Um, I wouldn't put um, I wouldn't put the farm on it, but we'll see how we go with the videos because we're more likely to put the things out there which are more fun to play for instance like a, a riot shield only gameplay or a knife and only or a no kills domination or something like that so we'll see how it go guys but uh, thank you very much for watching this and thank you very much El Clark again as I say for the intro go and check out his channel and uh, see you again soon bye bye